so here we are again uh, this is the scavenger pump that has needed for this unit in order for the car to run correctly because it was burning oil because the trouble is so low so I'm gonna drill these holes right here and then I'm just gonna bolt it into the car so I can more or less show you um, how it's gonna sit these two should be sufficient to hold it to secure it but this is just like some extra so it's gonna put it in and see what happens so there it is the holes are made I'm just gonna mount it up to more or less show you where it's gonna be it's gonna go right here so that's where it's gonna sit uh, so it's just mocked up right now and bolt it just like that I'm just gonna run the hose I was gonna try to do everything today but uh, as you can see mother nature has different plans so it's raining so I'm gonna clean up real quick I'm gonna paint it up so it doesn't look too too you know crappy but yeah and once it's done just run the lines then I should be able to start this thing so hopefully by this week I should be able to get it running again so we're back working on the axles for the old dry swap. So these are the outer st um, stubs. I guess is what you will call them. This is a custom axle that I that we made. CRV ends welded to a S2000. Now this is the spider gear that goes on to this part right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install these tighten them down so this way I can actually put the car down and have the back functioning like a normal uh, front wheel drive car because with those bearing it will hold the with those stubs installed it will hold the bearing in place so this way this won't fall apart when I'm driving obviously I have to change this but honestly I want to just change everything that including the hubs and also in the upper control arms because I will, just in case I need to do the camera in and out but yeah, she's coming together. Just gotta get this stupid axle made and it's not easy. Okay, so this is the shaft. We're just gonna put it in, tighten it down, and then we should be able to... Basically what this does is keep the bearings from falling apart. And I should be able to drive it from, we'll drive it now. So we mounted the scavenger pump, it's in. Now just gotta run the lines to it, but as usual, can't save that for tomorrow because I'm missing something. This is the turbo drain. I'm missing the wrong fitting for this. It should be a half inch. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a 5 8 So it's definitely not going to the holes. So I have to get that fit in tomorrow. And hopefully um, hook it up, plumb it up, wire it up. And that should be it. Knock on wood. So there you go. We have the car island. Right now, none of the boost pipes are hooked up, but it's island. A good 14. Fans kicking in. Everything is working good. So that's a little map I'm just using just to play around with. And so this guy right here helped me out. Woo! Starting to look like a car again. So I got a lot of room to go, but hey. Out of level 100. About to run out of gas. Fuel pressure is right there. Sorry, oil pressure is doing pretty good. So right now we have the car back out. You're just adjusting the rear suspension. So I can take it to get alignment to make sure everything is in order. If not, I'm gonna have to go and buy new control arms for the rear so I can get a bit more camber adjustment for the back. To right, right. So this junk right here, I don't know. I hope this should start driving soon. Right, right. See, see? Look at this shit. Look Not at this shit. 
All right, here we go. We got one junk coming out. Look, look, look. King T'Challa over there, look. The wackiest Black Panther ever. They call him a Pink Panther. The beach. I live inside my own world of make-believe